Welcome to the Great Bay Foundation podcast, Social Entrepreneurs, in their own words. Chris Martin and Jody Martin, co-founders of the Information Technology Exchange, each speak from their own perspectives about the creation of their organization and the kinds of social enterprise they have employed to sustain and expand their initiative. Hi, my name is Jody Martin. I'm Executive Director and Co-Founder of Information Technology Exchange. We are a computer literacy program we not only help low-income individuals um, obtain inexpensive computer equipment, but we also support and teach them how to use the equipment, maintain the equipment. Seventy million computers were sold in 2007. All of those computers have to be recycled. Not all of them are going to be useless when they are recycled. Part of the three R's are reduce, reuse, recycle. Where we take that computer equipment that nobody wants, we refurbish it and give it to those in need. Uh, my name is Chris Martin. I'm from the Information Technology Exchange. Um, our purpose is to provide or increase computer access and literacy. Uh, we started the project about six years ago, uh, but the ideas had come from well before that. Uh, I've been in IT or information systems for probably gosh, I'd say 17, 18 years, and in every company I'd ever worked at, we always had this little boneyard of computer equipment. Um, people that I was working with who were interested in learning more about different job positions, either design, uh, computer-assisted design, engineering, or anything like that, um, were interested in learning more about the computers, but didn't necessarily have the resources to just go out and buy one. Of course, this is back when computers cost three, four thousand dollars a piece. So I'd go into the boneyard in the IT department and build machines for them. This started all about 12, 14 years ago in New Hampshire. Um, it was successful for probably 10 or 15 people who I would watch go through the ranks of the companies I was working with because of their new skills. Um, another eight years went by, um, still working in IT, still doing some of that on the side for I'd say a total of 20 people over six years. And um, As manufacturing is done in Maine, uh, the place that I was working at in turn went down the tubes and I found myself needing a job and I, I was tired of working in a larger organization and decided I would do something good. And IT was kind of built out of that. So we decided all these companies have this problem of surplus computer equipment. Uh, we would invest in that equipment to rehabilitate it and make it useful. Uh, the first 50 people that we put through IT were uh, free all the way through it, no fees more or less guinea pigs for the project so we could figure out what the shortfalls of the project would be and what the program would need to sustain their technology. Giving somebody um, a piece of computer electronics that have never had one before could very easily mess it up in a month and now it's useless to them or a burden financially so teaching them how to use it, how to make sure the equipment would last and continue to help them towards their goals was obviously key so when we finally deployed the program there was a small fee for it uh, we developed a support and training mechanism, and uh, IT went full-fledged, hired its first employees, and off it went. Um, the first year, I think we held 300 folks. The next year, it was 450. After that, it was 600 systems or so. Went out in all over the all over Maine, Kittery to Fort Kent. Um, as far as IT's future is concerned, we find our best results, our best outcomes are within 45 to 50 minutes of our location because folks who need support to continue to meet their goals with the equipment um, aren't going to drive two and a half hours with it. A lot of the folks we work with don't have transportation or they need to depend on others for it. Um, and $60 for UPS charges just doesn't help. So um, creating satellites, other locations, so we can in turn help people throughout the state you know, I'd love to have my 16 sites all over the state. That's not going to happen overnight, but I figured four to five, including the current Belfast location, would be ideal. To learn more about the work of the Great Bay Foundation, we invite you to visit our website, www.greatbayfoundation.org.